Hey, how's it going? I wanted to show this issue with the water heater that we found at our new shop location. So we bought this building in um, well, well last year, I think June, I think we closed July 1st of 2023. So we've been in here probably about nine months, going on 10 months. Uh, we remodeled it most of last year and moved in right around Christmas, January timeframe. So this water heater in this building is an old state water heater. Um, I couldn't find the exact year on it, but like the ANSI sticker or the energy guide sticker here is December of 83 and the ANSI date on there on the uh, label is 1985. So we know the building was built in 1986 or finaled in 1986. So it's obviously the original water heater, and when we bought the building, it worked fine. And we're like, you know what? This thing's probably built 10 times better than any water heater you can buy today. So let's just go with it and see how long we get by with it. We know it's kind of an issue, but here we go. So it was really windy a couple days ago, and the pilot light went out. So I relit the pilot light and turned the burner on, and the burner was not like the gas was not going up to the burner correctly. So I pulled the uh, burner completely apart yesterday. I pulled it apart, put it back in, cleaned out, you know, checked the orifice and vacuumed out the bottom of the pan, um, cleaned off the uh, thermocouple and just made sure that everything was clean so the gas would flow, put it back together. Same thing, the gas was not evenly going up through the burner. It was, uh, you know, gas was kicking out the front or flame was kicking out the front of the door uh kind of weird so i, I pulled I actually pulled it out three times and cleaned it at least twice and verified everything make sure it was clean and it still did the same thing i'm like you know what this thing is not drafting you know gas appliances are pretty simple for the most part unless you get into like the newer fancy furnaces and stuff with circuit boards but water heaters are super simple so i pulled the flu stack apart flu was full of crap cleaned it out and then i decided you know what i need to look down the flu and just check the there's a baffle looks like this this is the flu baffle in water heater i don't know if new ones even have flu baffles in them anymore I, honestly i haven't put one in for a couple years but they're a spiral thing basically you know the heat goes up from the bottom uh through the flue of the water heater and it slows it down a little bit to you know provide more heat to the tank of the actual water heater well i looked down in the hole and it looked like it was plugged solid so I'm like, well, you know what? 40 years of stuff maybe coming down the flue. It probably just caught up enough and plugged up. So I uh, tried to pull it out. It took me half an hour with a pair of vice grips and pliers and a screwdriver to get this uh, flue baffle out. And actually, it was usually just pull right out and they sit right up here in these notches at the top below the flue damp or the uh, draft, draft hood. And uh, I couldn't get it out. So I finally got it out. I look down in here. I'm going to show, hopefully, show this on video. You can, I don't know if you can see down there or not, but it is completely the tank itself is completely the steel is deformed to the point where it was squeezing the flue baffle completely tight. So there's probably only kind of might be hard to see on camera. You could probably see it well enough. There's probably only like you know a, a square inch of open space at the bottom so the steel tank itself is actually deteriorated and swollen so much and has not leaked that it will not uh, provide uh, a draft when you turn the burner on so basically the gas is just there's combustion at the bottom but there's no way for the fresh air to come in and you know the exhaust gas to go up so it's not drafting at all so technically everything's fine on this water heater except for the fact that it's about to blow up because the steel is so weak there's actually the bottom of the tank i noticed too which I'm, I'm not a plumbing expert i've done a lot of plumbing electrical my whole life but i'm more of a carpenter than a lot of construction but I, i'm a jack of all trades so i know a few things but so if you look inside the tank underneath might be harder to see but the bottom of the tank is completely bulged out right there in front right where my sh light's shining it's bulged so this thing is just it's a ticking time bomb 
And we have no idea when it's gonna blow up, but it's gonna blow up. So we're gonna get rid of it. I was hoping to get another year or two out of it, but it is what it is. Water shut off. It's still got some residual, you know, when you turn faucets on, still uh, back feeds and stuff like that. But um, I got it shut off for now. We'll replace it. I just thought it was pretty interesting. I've never seen this flu, a flu in a water heater like that. I'm gonna hopefully get some comments on YouTube or Facebook or whatever and see if anybody's seen anything like that. But I thought it was pretty interesting, so I thought I'd share. Anyways, keep an eye on uh, your water heater because like new water heaters these days, they have like, uh, you know, if you buy a water heater, seven, nine, 11, 12, 13 year, whatever tank on them, they basically, that's how long you should technically replace it after that amount of time. But at least that's what they tell you. But I've, I've seen them, I've seen the older ones last, you know, 30, 40 years. And this is probably the oldest one I've seen that I can remember that was worth actually showing something on video about it anyways thanks for watching i thought uh be something interesting to share so thank you